This is the Sales Bible Podcast, episode 517, How to Sell When Nobody Knows You. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non-sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, sales babblers. This is Pat Helmers. And what do you do when your business is the best kept secret in town? How do you get people to know about you? How do you create awareness? And most importantly, how can you get buyers to trust in you, your company, and its products? Now, this is a situation for all startups. It's also the case for established businesses in creating new products or entering new markets. If this is your case, you're in for a treat. Because today's episode, we're going to share an idea that water, though soft and gentle, can overcome resistance and erode even the hardest of substance through persistent and patient action. That's right. The same is true when it comes to a skeptical marketplace. With patience and persistence, a master seller can bring a new product or service to market. But before we get to today's chapter, a friend of mine, Tom Poland, who's been a guest here on Sales Babble, has got a new book out, and he has agreed to give copies of this book free to Sales Babble listeners, at least for the next week. I think for only a week, starting on Thursday. The book is called Other People's Networks, How to Get Quality New Leads Free from Other People's Networks. Now, on Thursday, I'll be sending out an email from Sales Babble. This is the same one that goes out on Tuesdays. And if you're not on that list, it's very easy to, to get on it. Just go to salesbabble.com, and right on the top there it says, hop on the email list, and I give you an update on what the new podcast episode is out every Tuesday morning. Well, it's on that email list. I'll share a link to Tom Poland's new book. Look out for that. Now for today's chapter, Making the Unknown Known. At the start, all new products are a secret, filled with opportunity and possibility, a mystery to be unveiled, from the dark to the light, and the unknown to the known. Like glacial streams that wear away rock, persistent marketing campaigns bring awareness using tenacity, patience, and grit. Therefore, time is your ally. Nurturing trust from nothing to something, converting prospects to clients one by one until the secret is no more and the mystery revealed. And now today's story. Chris's company recently launched a new product. It was a new market for the company, and no one had heard of them. While working on a cold calling campaign, Chris was unsure how to get the attention of buyers. I keep calling, but nobody answers, shared Chris. The few people I've talked to have never heard of us and don't trust we know what we're doing. Well, I guess I don't blame them, said Pat. Trust has to be earned, and that's only going to come with time. Exactly, responded Chris. So what am I going to do since we're the new kid on the block? Well, when it comes to new ventures, you have to play the long game, said Pat. We need to follow up on leads multiple times. First an email, then a call, then a voicemail, then a social media message. And then it's a case of rinse and repeat with each time sharing a little bit more about us. It's going to take a while, but remember, water is soft, but given enough time, it carved the Grand Canyon. I'm reminded by the quote by Lao Tzu, who said, Under heaven, nothing is more soft and yielding than water. Yet for dissolving the hard and inflexible, nothing can surpass it. The soft overcomes the hard, the gentle overcomes the rigid. Everyone knows this is true, but few can put it into practice. 
I love that. Few can put it into practice. You know, lots of times your competitors rush to launch and it comes with dire results. This is a recipe for disaster. Master sellers know that it takes time and patience to overcome a skeptical prospect. With gentle persistence, even the hardest of prospects can be persuaded if the product or service provides value. It's no trivial matter bringing nothing into something, but with tenacity, patience, and grit, success can be achieved. As I mentioned, Tom Poland gladly agreed to open up a window for a week and allow Sales Babble listeners to get a copy of his book called Other People's Networks, where Tom lays out his nine-step process that's been used by his clients in 151 cities around the world to get thousands of eyeballs on your sales offer month in and month out. I'll be updating the blog post for this week's podcast with the link this coming Thursday, and I'll also be sending it out on the email list. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Now to download a copy of this week's chapter of the Tao of Sales Babble, you can find it in the show notes at salesbabble.com. And while you're there, you can sign up for our brief weekly newsletter with links to the podcast conveniently sent to your inbox. Next, if you could do me a favor and share this episode with a friend who's also interested in growing their selling skills, please do. Word of mouth is the premier way of growing our sales community. And if you have any questions about sales, please reach out. You can find me on LinkedIn or click the Babble Me link on the website. Sales is one of my favorite topics. I'd love to chat. With that said, it's all I've got for today. Until next Tuesday, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.